Hello everybody and welcome back to The Journey. This week has been quite simple. Not a whole lot's going on so I actually don't have that much to tell. On Friday I did make a trip to both Candle Coin and Stamps and Silver Eagle Coins and Collectibles. Went over to Candle Coins, everything was peachy. She had a pretty good stock of things, um, but actually I was surprised to see that some of the prices had actually gone up. The generics were still around uh, 27, but the things like um, Britannia's and Maple's actually went up a dollar. And so the only thing that I picked up was a one ounce silver bar. And I am working on a silver bar challenge. I'll have the video out for that on Friday. And this is going to be added to that. So keep an eye out for that. And I actually got a little thing about it in my shorts videos. So go over and check that out. But this will be added to that. And that's the only thing that I got while I was there. We did have a great conversation as we always do. Just talking to each other about how our weeks had been. Letting her know how my granddaughter was doing. So when I left there, I headed over to Silver Eagle in hopes that they were going to be open. I haven't been inside the store in quite a long time now. The owner has been having his health issues, and each time I've tried to go over, they were closed. And then, of course, I was working the weekends, working the extra shifts, wasn't able to go again. Well, last week I tried to go, and again, they were closed. And then on Friday, after I left Candle Coin and Stamps, I went by again, and again, they were closed. Um, I did call, and I've been calling daily because that's what they say on the message. Um, they are out for their health reasons still. And the best thing to do is give him a call before we make the trip. So hopefully he'll be back on his feet soon. Uh, there are a few of us that are going to be getting together on the 22nd of this month to go over there. And that would be myself, Silver and Gold Stack Attack, Patriotic Stacker, and maybe even Chuck Stacks. All going to get together to go check it all out. So hopefully they'll be open by then. But I'm going to keep my eye on it and call them every day. And, you know, we'll stay on top of it. We'll let you know how that goes. But that was it. So I finished up my day and I went home. Um, Saturday was actually quite fun. I did head over to see Mr. Warren, like I always do. And I walked in, we had our usual conversation, we went through the silver, and I did pick up several items. And so here we go. First off, I picked up this foot, Footprints in the Sand Silver Round. This is made by Silvertown. Um, I looked and I couldn't find the mintage or anything of that nature about it. So for $28, I was happy to pick it up and add it to the stack. It is a very reflective coin, will absolutely face reveal, so I am not going to point this in, the right, in that direction. But anyway, there it is. So that was the first one I picked up while I was there. But he also had something that I had never picked up before. Two ounce rounds and half ounce rounds. Uh, but they were actually the half ounce coins. So I did pick those up and there was two of them. And here you go. These are made by Cook Island and they are a tribute to the United States coins. Each one is a half ounce and they are the same on both sides. They're identical. And so he sold me the set of these, both of these together at 28. So he just charged me one ounce bullion price for it. So not too bad. So these are my first half ounce rounds or coins, and uh, yeah, happy to add them. And last but not least, he had a two ounce Welcome to Wall Street coin or round. This is made by the Sunshine Mint in 2022. It's part of their Awakening series from what I can see. And they made 20,000 of these. Um, it was already in the capsule. And uh, he sold me this again for bullion price. So it was 56. Not too terrible at all. So this is an awesome one. My very first two ounce coin or round. And uh, yeah, I'm absolutely happy to have it. And of course, while I was there, we sat down and did the interview. More of a Q&A. Not too long ago, maybe about a month or so ago, I put out a video asking all of you for questions that you were wondering answers from Mr. Warren. And that's what we did. I took all those questions, there was 12 of them that we got, and we sat down and did that video. And that video is going out today, which is uh, Wednesday, and this video is going up tomorrow. So hopefully you all enjoy that, and uh, hopefully we'll be doing it again soon. He is enjoying those, and uh, hopefully we can make this a regular thing. But 
uh, that's it. It's been a, a quite a short one today because it's been a very, very quick week. Not a whole lot to talk about. So that's all there was. Uh, just picked up some silver and did work. But that's what I've got for you. I thank you for watching the video. Remember to like and subscribe and comment down below. Let me know what you think. Well, was all this stuff a, a good deal in your uh, opinion? For me, I think it was pretty cool. So that's what I got. Thank you always for following along on my silver journey. We'll see you in the next one. God bless.